This is our first piece that we've commissioned for El Mirador, and so this is very exciting for us. We've been anticipating this piece with bated breath, and it's fantastic. I think there's been a growing recognition over the last two decades that medical students and medical training need to make a conscious effort to think about things such as empathy, sensitivity, compassion. Visual perception in a healthcare environment is very important. There are all sorts of nonverbal cues that are going on all over the place, and being sensitive to that type of emotion is critical. There's been a conscious effort to really introduce that, to make sure that trainees really understand how helpful that is in dealing with their fellow man and patients. We looked around the U of A and sort of were thinking about how could we contribute to that, and we would like to be the residence for video art. And that could be then a launch pad for various programming that would really, I think, expose these students and their trainees to the humanistic elements of medicine and healthcare. I can never predict what a work like this, how it will come out. So I wasn't sure how abstract the imagery to have it be recognizable. What happens with these low resolution works when they're successful is that people use their imagination to fill in what they're looking at. For the last 22 years, that's what I've been playing with. You were an engineer, is that correct? I was an engineer in Silicon Valley for 25 years, designing high-definition TV circuits. Oh, my word. And, and that's actually <laughs> one of the things that led to me going the far opposite direction. When I started making low-resolution work, it started as an experiment. How many pixels do I need to have it be recognizable? And these works have to essentially have images in them that move. If you still frame any of the video that you get, you won't see what it is at all. It sort of sits between representational and abstract, or am I wrong? I mean, it's kind of its own category. No, it's exactly the way that I look at it, is right at that edge of perception. It's not a conscious process, but you learn how to look at them by looking at them. What intrigues me so much is that your mind is, is trying to make sense of it. What am I perceiving? What are the impressions? Mm -hmm. It's it's. I, I think it's it's amazing. Yeah. Um, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>